<laughs> Certainly the case. As we move on to the junior welterweight division, six three-minute rounds, Jun Paderna, originally from the Philippines, now based in Green Valley with the Bahal Stable, up against Gary Sinclair, a former world champion. He was the IBF super featherweight King Pin. I love watching him fight. Poetry yeah. in motion. It is very much poetry in motion. The excellence of execution that is Gary Sinclair. No advantage really to any guy as far as the stats go, the height, the weight, and the reach. And here is Paderna. They call him Machine Gun. And the whole, whole behold stable is out here assisting tonight. The busiest bunch in Australian boxing. He almost looks like a Filipino version of Gurkhan Oskan. <laughs> kickboxing great. Just a quick hello to my beautiful wife Susie at home with my little girls, Kayla and Jessica. Love you girls. Have a beautiful night watching the show. That'd be good for mum. They're always good for mum. Mum wanted to come right, but she's been trying really hard. She's a little tired. Waiting the arrival of Superman. He's in a bird. He's in a plane. Jim Paderna very focused in the red corner. We are awaiting the arrival of Superman St. Clair. Has been one of the standouts on the Australian boxing scene for many years now under the eye of Johnny Lewis. As normal, it will be one black sock, one white sock, the black one up, the white one down. Jeff said, brilliant to watch, he is the excellence of execution, Gary Sinclair. Let's go to Rick Powell. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Fox Sports now brings a junior welterweight bout, set for six by three minute rounds. From the red corner, formerly of the Philippines, and now resident here in Sydney, with his weight at 62.3 kilos. He's trained out of the Liverpool PCYC by Team Bohol. With 20 bouts to date, recording nine wins, nine losses and two draws. He's known as the Machine Gun. Here's Jun Padana. And across the ring and in the blue corner, weighing in at 62.65 kilograms, wearing the white shorts with the black trim, formerly of Guyana in West Africa, and now resident in Sydney southern suburbs. He's fought 47 times, winning a massive 39 times, with six losses and two draws, recording 17 knockouts, trained by the legendary Johnny Lewis. He's known as Superman. Please welcome Gary Sinclair. Your referee for this bout, Mr. Charlie Lucas. Your judges, Brian McMahon, Bernie McMahon, and Trevor Christian. Okay. Okay, boys, you both know what this is all about. Six rounds, listen to my instructions at all times and defend yourself at all times. Touch them up. You right, Trev? Gary Sinclair and Entourage right. leaving the right, ring. He had a few people with him too, yeah, carrying the, the belts. Well, I see a guy carrying the belt trying to get through customs. He had a bit of something they didn't like. It's the new thing wearing the jeans sort of halfway around the buttocks area. All right, all right. Well, apparently I can't do it, Jeff. Okay, let Doesn't go. suit my shape. Nor, nor me, but I want to just say a quick ag again thank you to the Bluefish Cafe, Darling Harbour, Eric Christoffi, who is feeding me and making sure that my weight's under control. Thank you very much, Eric, and all your staff for your beautiful food down there at Darling Harbour. Sinclair in the white. Black trunks, Paderna in the gold and black. 
we were talking earlier about this kid Gary Sinclair, he's just, you know, poetry in motion, he's just so loose out there in the I mean, just so fluent in his movement. Turner is an ex-PABA champion who was halted in a single round by Willie Kickett last year, but has come back with some pretty respectable performances. Most no notably against Solomon Egberheim here at Cronulla in March of this year. And also the draw with Heath Ellis over six rounds. And in fact, Paderna was pretty unlucky, many suggest, not to get the nod down there. Well, the one thing is Gary's not a big puncher, so um, he's very skillful, very, he lands with a lot of punches, very successful in his punch rate, but yeah, he's not a big puncher. Paderna's going to want to fight. Sinclair is going to want to box. Gary just enjoys being out. He doesn't care if it lasts around or 12 rounds. As long as he's enjoying himself, he's just out there and it's like music to Gary. He's like he's dancing around that ring, making those guys miss and making them pay. 17 knockouts on the resume of Gary Sinclair in 39 victories. So it's not as though he can't punch, but he's not renowned for having that big one-stop shot. But they going to work now. Sinclair just sees the punches so well. Majority of these being caught by Sinclair either on the forearms, elbows or gloves. And then he uses the shoulder just to bump him off out of there. There was talk earlier uh, in the year about Gary Sinclair fighting um, Billy Did, but uh, that can't happen at the moment. Um, they're both trained by the same guy, but that would have been a great fight. It made Johnny Lewis a pretty busy bloke for a yeah. week, wouldn't it? Red corner for a round, blue corner for the next round. Right in his face is Jun Paderna. I don't, you know, like, uh, I just don't think Billy Dibb would be ready for Gary Sinclair there. I'm, I'm sure after a, a few more months with Johnny Lewis uh, tuition and fitness, then I think Billy Dibb would be ready. But at the moment, I just think Gary Sinclair is a very classy guy. Billy, of course, here tonight, and no doubt casting a pretty accurate eye over this one. Well, the good thing is Billy's going to be able to spar Gary uh, many rounds over the next uh, year or so if they, if, if they remain in the same gym. And I think Billy will learn a lot because if you can hit Gary Sinclair, you can hit anybody. I would imagine the sparring will be quite animated too. Well, Billy, Billy's, uh, Billy's pretty full on. Paderna with a certain level of confidence at the end of the first three minute period. Just six rounds the journey. Suggest if victory is Gary Sinclair's. We will go to the judges' scorecards. If victory ends up Jim Paderna's, it could well be a stoppage. But you'd want to be good to stop this man. There's Billy Dip playing in his win. So calculated, so relaxed in the corner, Johnny Lewis. So too, Gary Sinclair. The temperament of both men as individuals works as a unit. Well, it's good to know when you've got somebody who's classy and like kidding there, just a couple of little, little messages and how they get carried out. No guessing where Paderna's going to be. He's going to be on that left foot of Gary Sinclair for the majority. See how Gary uses that shoulder to cover part of the chin as well. And great shoulder roll from Sinclair. And Never more evident than his first couple of bouts out in Australia since he came from Guyana. Just watching him those first couple of times, it was something very rare. We knew we were seeing something special. I'll tell you what, I'd love to see him pick his work right up to it, just to double to what it is. I think that he'd be very, very hard to beat with it, you know, with, with a work rate, you know, uh, you know, 50 percent more work rate. Burner, innocent player, looking for a, a target that very rarely is there. If you come to fight Gary Sinclair, you've got to be prepared to throw a lot of punches. You've also got to be prepared in the knowledge that most of them are going to miss. Look, 
Again, the shoulder roll there. The shoulder was there. But the strength that they missed, but he, he catches so many of them on the arms and the gloves and, you know, just turns that head and, you know, tucks that chin down. The type of guy, Gary, that would be good at any sport that he pursued because obviously it's it's a hand-eye coordination. He's got great hand-eye coordination. Turner with the left hand. Just over a minute remaining, round number two. Interesting for our three judges, Brian McMahon, Bernie McMahon and Trevor Christian. This is as far as ring generalship goes and taking the fight. It has been very much Paderna, the opening two rounds. I think quality of scoring and landing punches is probably relatively evenly split at the moment. Certainly some credit must go to the guy pushing the fight. Definitely so, but you've got to realise that these judges have seen Gary Sinclair fight many times and they know exactly what he's capable of. So, you know, although he's there, uh, you know, the other, his opponent's throwing a lot of punches, he's able to make those punches miss and catch many of them. Paderna throwing a four punch combination once. Tag Sinclair, but with no power whatsoever. Better from Paderna. Sinclair fires back. It is on here on Big Time Boxing. Styles make fights. And these two are in complete contrast to one another. I think Paderna got the best of that little last exchange. Yep, I agree. Come on, move around, man. Move around. Jab, man. Jab. Round number two and some of the action. Partially taken there on the chin by Gary Sinclair. Did well to get away from optimum force. Paterna with, as Jeff said, more scoring shots there. As the girls dance up a storm. Some wonderful boxing websites promoting upcoming Australian attractions. Jump on the World Wide Web and Google Aussie Boxing. There's plenty of sites, plenty of cards coming up. Come out and support your local promotion and your local superstars. A great night out for everyone too. Gary Sinclair in the white and black trunks. Jun Paderna in the gold and black. Paderna walking into the ring with a nine win, nine loss, two draw record, just the four knockouts. Paderna's changed his fight period. He's got to get Gary Sinclair going back. You can't let Gary Sinclair stand in the middle of the ring and pick you off because he will pick you off. He's got the speed. He's got a great eye. So Paderna... Uh, in this round, that's coming out and is waiting a little more than he did in the other rounds. And I think it's going to be detrimental to him if he does it for too long. Almost a minute into round number three. Big time boxing live from the Cronulla Leagues Club, our first of 2008. Oh, some clear tag there. I don't think it was a shot on the no. chin, nor do I think it was in the bread basket. I think it may have been. been landing in and around the sternum area. Sinclair now more so, Jeff, on that front foot. His work rate has lifted. Well, Sinclair's, you know, obviously winning this round clearly early. He's has landed, you know, three, four to one at the moment. But uh, like I said, Paduna's um, changed his fight plan from, you know, coming forward uh, to, to standing there and giving Gary Sinclair the opportunity to use his jab. illustration of how quick Sinclair is defensively then you've got a glimpse of how quick he is offensively lightning fast double jab there from Gary Sinclair without jumping to conclusions once Gary Sinclair starts to assert his authority 95% of boxers around the world that signals the beginning of the end well, I'm just thinking, has the, has the Filipino got tired to change his fight? Well, he's throwing some big punches now. 
and he's not throwing him with the same authority that he was early. He's not throwing him coming forward. Some beautiful counter punching in close boxing pair there. Nice body punches by the Filipino. But Jeff, he's open up the middle, and then Gary Sinclair will take advantage of that, believe me. Jeff, there's also the theory, and it happens in a lot of Gary Sinclair fights, where he starts relatively slowly, and his opponent almost punches himself to a standstill. Well, I think that's a part of his game plan, because, you know, he's got such a great eye that he catches so many punches early, and his, his opponent's strong so big because he doesn't do too much, but they do get a little tired. Double shot down low from Jun Perdona. Definitely a bit around for some players. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's how you got to do it. Just be careful with the blade. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't give him respect, but yeah. don't let him get in those shots, but make him increase how work that. And he's starting to get tired. Yeah. You're hurting a couple of body shots here. When you want the body, make sure we come back over the top, mate. Don't stay there with our hands now. Okay? All mastering is respect this power, mate. Alright? Be clever, guys. You're picking these shots, don't let him get through all. What's the other side? Yeah. Keep making this thing, make the miss until you jump on him a little bit, okay? Alright, man. Alright, he's standing in time, but he's still dead, okay? Johnny and Gary must be enjoyers of fine liquor. They weren't wasting ice. Yeah, no do. water, no ice, yeah, no anything. They're, they're on the same page, mate. <clears throat> I still get disappointed when I see ice used for the wrong reasons for injuries and whatnot. It belongs in the bottom of the glass, doesn't it, Jeff? Now that you're back in training, bottom of your glass of water. And we saw a momentum shift most definitely in round number three. Well, I, and I, th I honestly think that Johnny Lewis uh, picked up something that we both picked up also. We think the Filipinos getting a little tired. Mm. He's asked Gary uh, to pick up the work rate a little. Just a quick hello to one of our great fans in Melbourne, Bruce Cass, who's supporting me from Standout. Thank you very much, Bruce. Hope you enjoy. That'd be good for Mum. They're always good for Mum. Mum wanted to come right, but she's been trying really hard. She's a little tired. Waiting the arrival of Superman. He's in a burn. He's in a very focused in the red corner. We are awaiting the arrival of Superman St. Clair. <laughs> Certainly the case. As we move on to the junior welterweight division, six three-minute rounds, Jun Paderna. Originally from the Philippines, now based in Green Valley with the Bahol Stable, up against Gary Sinclair, a former world champion. He was the IBF super featherweight King Pin. I love watching him fight. Poetry yeah. in motion. It is very much poetry in motion. The excellence of execution, that is Gary Sinclair. No advantage really to any guy as far as has been one of the standouts on the Australian boxing scene for many years now, under the eye of Johnny Lewis. As normal, it will be one black sock, one white sock, the black one up, the white one down. Jeff said, brilliant to watch. He is the excellence of execution in Gary Sinclair. Let's go to Rick Powell. Thank you, Jeff. Ladies and gentlemen, this Fox Sports now for Israeli Junior Welterweight bout set for six by three minute rounds from the red corner, formerly of the Philippines, and now resident here in Sydney with his weight at 62.3 kilos. He's trained out of the Liverpool PCYC by Team Bohol. 
with 20 bouts to date, recording nine wins, nine losses and two draws. He's known as the machine gun. Here's Jung Padana. The stats go the height, the weight and the reach. And here is Padana. They call him machine gun. And the whole, whole behold stable is out here assisting tonight. The busiest bunch in Australian boxing. He almost looks like a Filipino version of Gurkan Oskan. <laughs> Kickboxing great. Just a quick hello to my beautiful wife Susie at home with my little girls, Kayla and Jessica. Love you girls. Have a beautiful night watching the show.